All right, guys, I can explain the title and I can explain the thumbnail real quick. There's a weapon in the game that has been mislabeled, okay? So just, just hear me out here. Hear me out. This thing right here, yes, that thing, that is not a bow. That is not an arrow. That is a harpoon, all right? That thing is not a bow. That is a handheld harpoon launcher, okay? Yes, it is an exotic. It is called Leviathan's Breath, but that is not a fucking bow. That is a harpoon launcher. You can disagree all you want and say, ooh, it's classified in the game as a bow. No. If that's a bow, then that hammer I'm holding is a rubber mallet. Okay? Simple as that. Now, we're just, we're just going to take a quick look here at, at, the, at it, okay? Just so you guys can kind of get an understanding of what we're dealing with here. What kind of creature we're dealing with. See? Leviathan's Breath. Avoid combat heavy bow. It's in your heavy slot. It's considered a bow, but that is not a bow. That is a harpoon launcher. Okay. So here we got the purse. Chain bowstring. That should be your first giveaway. Second one should be the gigantic frame. Fiberglass arrow shaft. Wrong. That is not an arrow. That is a harpoon. Leviathan sigh. The knockback. More like enemies getting thrown across the map at rather hilarious speeds. All right. And then you got the perk down below, the exotic perk down below. And also, I'm going to make a quick fix here, quick adjustment here, okay? There. Much better. Okay, big game hunter. As you see, it's not, it stuns the stop while champions, but it's also getting a bit of a buff, too. All right, now, here's another reason why. Anything that sounds like this right here, when you draw it and does this, is not a bug. Now, the knockback, quote-unquote. Where did he go? He vanished. You, he got erased from the game. Okay. You even have to hit your enemies directly. See? Watch. See? And goodbye. That one I did hit directly. That one there I kind of missed a little bit. But, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't even have to hit them directly. Okay. Now. Further proof. And yeet. Launched him about a good 30 foot in the air. And... Didn't even I made me nick his side. Alright, so I decided we're gonna try this deranged creation on something a bit meteor. So I went through and I did the mission where you gotta actually fight Sevathun in the campaign. This is where shit gets crazy. See target right there. Alright, the damage thing puts out. Not bad. Okay. That was while his abilities were active. All right, that real quick. Tried to evade all these guys, but at you, if you're not getting what I'm putting putting out here, this should explain it. And people are saying, "Oh, it's a rocket attached to a bow." Yeah, calling uh, calling that a rocket attached to an arrow, that's like calling a harpoon a stick. Okay. Oh, the eye clear potential, by the way, just so you're seeing it. It makes great crowd disbursement. Okay. Wizard, bye. Pick up that break real quick. Now, funny thing is, your bow mods and your bow reserves will actually work with this psychotic thing. Now, I can use it here, but I didn't feel it was necessary. But if you're not seeing what I'm saying here, this is not a bow. That is not an arrow that is shooting. That is a harpoon. That is meant that is a deep sea fishing implement. That is being hurled at mock Jesus speeds. And whatever is in front of it, I am I'm not sorry, but wrong place, wrong time. Okay. Let's show you a non-crit damage number. Okay, now I figured, you know, I'd take this thing and actually go fight Sabathun herself. Just to see what happens. Alright, because, you know, you get that thread cutter buff. And I just wanted to see the hilarity that would ensue. A little bit of foreshadowing here. It gets absolutely bonkers. The numbers that you'll see come up on screen should really dictate everything. But you bow mains out there, if you haven't seen this thing before, definitely pick this thing up. You will not be disappointed. Okay? So, without further ado, we're going to go in. We're going to take it up against Sabathun herself. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep talking, moth lady. You know, wait for it to get open for damage, and then have a new toothpick. As you see the health, it is just chunking off of her. And to think, this monster is getting a buff next season. Okay. It is like... This thing... Using this thing on her is like... Hitting her in the face with a Buick. Right here. Ads? Now you see him? Now you don't. This thing makes ads disappear. It does magic. Alright. Oh wow, you hit me with your mat... You hit me with your little fart bolts. And she's already gone. Now deal with her little goon squad and just see what it does. I don't like that guy. As you see, it took 90% of his health off in one hit. Also, fun fact, if you add volatile rounds to this thing, it makes the it makes it even more obnoxious. This thing is absolutely ridiculous, utterly ludicrous, just pointless, but just overall just insane and fun. Alright, now I deal with these other two glowing nerds here. Alright, that knife there, I didn't like the way he was looking at me, so I gave him a new toothpick. Yeet. <laughs> As you see, when the hive explode, body parts tend to go flying. This harpoon shooter is no joke. This thing is no laughing matter. But up against champions and something like a grandmaster or something, it's not the best damage output. Now, yes, this is good for like, getting stun off so your teammates can deal with them or you can deal with them. You keep pumping harpoons into them. Turn them into eventually a giant pincushion, but you get, you get my point here. Okay. I'm also trying to make the point here. This thing is not a bow. This is a harpoon shooter. Bungie, hear me out here. There needs to be an ornament that turns that arrow thing into an actual heart thing. Alright. Now here, up against that within herself in the second phase of the fight. Okay. As you see there, the damage that this thing was just dumping out. Alright. There's one shot of it. And here, here, just watch. She kind of threw me around a little bit with the lightning. Okay, that was about 700,000 damage right there in one arrow. Harpoon, sorry, Air harpoon. Okay, now, this actually come from a quest in Season of Undying, which, by the way, the actual strike itself was a pain in the ass, if, especially when in about 10 levels under like I did. Okay. But what you got out of it, though, was one of the most hilarious weapons to ever use. As you're seeing in the background gameplay, whenever I decided to take enemies, hit them with a harpoon at mock Jesus speeds, and erase their coding from the game. Okay. Also, fun fact, a little shotgun there. That's another hint of another video I'm going to be doing. Just so you guys are aware, I like dropping little hints in my videos here and there. Okay, see? Wizard, now you see it. Now you don't. Where'd it go? Okay. A little red plus oracle action there for you guys, too. See, I try to mix it up for you guys. I try to keep it a little bit different for you. Now, as you're seeing, I am just bitch slapping Sabathun with harpoons. Alright. And the damage that this thing is doing is just mind bogglingly dumb. I actually managed to make this a two-phase fight instead of a three-phase fight because of just the sheer ridiculous amount of damage this thing was just dumping out. Alright. So, yes. This thing is getting a buff up against, I believe, champions next season. If this thing gets a damage buff as well, holy shit, this thing is going to be absolutely just ridiculous. So, you know, gigantic, psychotic harpoon shooter. And I figured, you know, why not give it a good range test? I figured, was it be a good chasm I could shoot across to see if I could hit targets? So I got looking on the map and I got seeing the Hellmouth. So I decided to replicate a shot that I did with a friend of mine who was actually acting as a spotter for me. 
And this was the result. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. Let's go up in. You see those three acolytes there? Ship dropped off three acolytes and a wizard. Swap over to the harpoon launcher. Or as I should call this thing, the harpoon yeeter. And there you go. And just for good measure, I tried to hit the wizard. Missed, as you see here. Alright. Now, when they say knockback, what they mean is, oh, enemy gets picked up and thrown. Alright. Got the second acolyte. Tried at the wizard again for some reason. For some reason, I figured that, you know, the splash damage would hit the wizard. But sadly, it didn't. Alright. There's the other acolytes. Yes, I managed to get a multi-kill with it. And by the way, this is... All the footage you're seeing here is non-catalyst. Catalyst gives this crazy thing Archer's Tempo. Okay? So, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. By the way, this video was all satire. This thing is ridiculously fun to use. It's classified, yes, as a bow, but I call it a harpoon launcher because, you know... I Just because I can. Alright. Anyway, guys... Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. God bless you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Like and click those two links. And subscribe.